Hi, Mr. Plum. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So I, mean, I, I can I can barely hear you. Can you speak louder? Is that a little better? Yeah, yeah, a little better. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, what's your question? So, question number one was: Do you think that increased police militarization has contributed to the increase in police shootings of, you know, unarmed people? Like, uh, you know, recruitment well, ads, that, stuff like that. I think that military bases. Uh, pardon? So, do you think that uh, the militarization of like local police has contributed to the increase of unjustified shootings by police? Uh, no, I don't think so. So, you don't think like ads with like you know SWAT teams and stuff like that is attracting bad apples? No. No? I mean, did you see the footage of the like the Daniel Shaver? Or the body cams from John Gear, or there were no body cams. But, okay, okay, now, so um, are you asking me questions for my answer? Yes, sir. So, so, um, for questions that you want to answer. Uh, well, so you you just said no. Okay. Well, the the second question was, um, would you ever consider, you know, the UK and London? They uh, they disarmed most police there. Like they don't need assault rifles any more than people do, right? Um, as far as like regular beat cops, right? In London, they carry, what, pepper spray and stuff? Do you think that'd be good here? No, I don't. And uh, why, why is that? You would never support, like... Because there are too many armed people. Well, but you seem to... In London, to... they also disarm the people, not just the police. And so you think that once, eventually, we've disarmed people enough, do you think that would be possible to disarm no. the police? No, I, think I don't think that. I don't think that's possible. Ever sure. in ever no not currently isn't that like you know the future goal would be to have it safe enough to where people can trust the police and i mean in london it's already reality isn't that your goal here with gun control was to to make i guess make it so police don't have well, to you, carry you write your paper you ask me do i think it's a good idea to disarm the police and i answer no well, right now, obviously, the, the, the climate is kind of hot, but is that, like, the future goal so we can be like London and all these places with gun control? No. You don't think that... I mean, it's reduced police shootings in Britain very well. They don't seem to need them. Um, so, so you don't think gun control will work well enough what, here? What's your third, what's your third question? Uh, well, I, I haven't even gotten to two, really. But um, the, the third question was... Uh, I mean, it was related to that. It was about... I don't have my paper here now, is the thing. Uh, uh, so you never, you never ever think American police will be able to be disarmed, correct? You know, like the British well, I police. I think Americans will be what now? The American police will be able to be, you know, unarmed, like the British police, ever, in the future. Will ever be what now, in the future? Uh, like British police, like uh, just carry a billy club. Uh, I, I, I don't understand the question. So do you think that in the future we'll be able to be like London and the cops won't need guns? Do you think that gun control will work that well? No. You don't think it's ever going to ever gonna work that well? So you asked me the question, I answered the question. Okay, so you don't support disarming cops, but you, you, know, you support disarming people? Like, okay. do no. you think that police I, should I really be on such an... You. And I've answered your question, so this is all the time I have. So okay, have a nice time. evening. Thank you. My teacher will love this. <laughs> Fucking moron.